Hello, my friends. This is Tanya Sidegate Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Happy to have you. Today we are doing some um, wax seals. Excuse me for just a second. Realized I dropped something I should have picked up. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be playing with some wax. Uh, many of you know my sister, um, Crafty Rue Michelle, and she's got her grandson, Riley. Hi, guys, with her for the summer, and they have been doing wax melts, and I thought, you know what? I need to do some of those for a swap I'm doing, so I thought, why not? Let's do that, and um, I'm going to be making some Christmas ones because Christmas in July, and um, also to remind you guys, I am doing a 12 Days of Christmas series coming up soon, starting on the 12th. So if you can catch that, I'll be doing lots of stuff there. Today, I'm just gonna be doing some wax melts. So I've got a couple different types of wax melts here. I've got these are, I believe from Crossfire. I should probably mark this stuff and these are from Amazon. So um, just a random supplier, I, I believe. So um, I don't know exactly where they came from but I know they're not as good of a quality they don't melt as easily or quickly but they still look pretty and I'm still gonna use them I need to heat up and clean my spoons because they are gross and totally the wrong colors this one might be fun but um, I've got a couple stamps here I know you guys probably can't see them but I got the North Pole official seal handmade I've got a heart and I have got snowflake and Merry Christmas. And because of the snowflake, I'm gonna start with some white. So I do need to make sure that this is pretty clean and um, so that I don't get some funky snowflake colors in there. So I hope you guys are all doing great and enjoying your summer. I know it's been crazy hot. The world is a fascinating place at the, mo at the moment. Um, and I say that very sarcastically. It's a little scary out there if you ask me. But I hope you're all safe and doing well and enjoying your summer. I hope your families are safe. And uh, we'll stay positive. So, some of this wax smells really nice. Um, just want to clean this out. I'm just using a paper towel to just wipe it out after it melts. Being careful not to burn myself. This does get pretty hot, so you wanna be careful with that. All right, that's pretty clean. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a few, a few in there. I've got, I wonder if these are metallic at all. These white ones are not metallic at all. I like to use three. I'm gonna go ahead and use four, I think, because I wanna try to get a little bit of the metallic in from the silver into that. Let's see how it turns out. Might be kind of, might be kind of fun. And I'm gonna probably paint it up with um, with a pen anyway. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Now I've got two burners going. The reason being is because I can go faster. <laughs> so when I'm working with one, I can actually be starting another one. Oops. Are you required to do that? Heck no. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put some crossbar on this one because I know this one melts a little faster. I love these. I love the little stars. They're so cute. They actually reached out to me um, this morning to see if I wanted to um, work with them and do a cooperative again today. Not today, but to see if I was interested in doing that. So I'm excited that to be able to get to do that again. It's been a while. Let's see. Let's do a green Merry Christmas. I've got, which ones were these? I've got red over here too. That's gonna be gorgeous. Got some bells. We'll do this green one, Merry Christmas. See how quickly these melt com in comparison. These are melting, but it's taking a while. So, yeah. I have my glass mat down, so um, these actually work really well on the glass mat. And I have this tool when they when they're cool they pop right up so that works out pretty nice but I do have this tool that has a flat end on on it and I think I'll use that to pop them up if I need to so 
So even though I put these on considerably later than this one, it's definitely melting faster. I use the same kind of candle, same kind of burner. So it's something about the wax. But both seals with whichever wax I use, they do turn out nice. It's just working with them is different. Let's see, this one's almost done. Be careful because it's got some bubbles in it. You don't really want bubbles in there, but I do still see some chunks, so I kind of want to cook it just a little longer. It's a big bubble though, it doesn't want to pop. Let's see if I can pop it with that. There we go. You don't really want bubbles because that's just going to cause a problem when you go to put your um, stamp on it. All right, we'll just pour it directly on the glass. You can do that on parchment paper or wax paper. You can do it on foil, works nicely. And then we'll just stamp. Boop. Try to get the wax all the way around. All right, and this one's still going. Let's go ahead and put a few more in here. getting there, huh? I'll use my pokey tool to see if I can stir that just a little bit. See if that'll help. They're soft, but they're not quite where they need to be. It looks like the silver melted fast. I put the white ones in first, and the silver melted and the white ones didn't, which is interesting. Let's stir that up. I don't need it to be a swirly color anyway. It's gonna look like dirty snowflakes. <laughs> All right, so there's that. That's pretty, I mean, it looks pretty good for now. It does, it's not chunky anymore. So we'll go ahead and pour this one over here. It is chunky, I lied. You know, and it doesn't seem like there's hardly any wax coming out of there either. Really interesting. I thought I put four in, but that doesn't look like much. We'll see if it's enough. I don't think so. Well, it's gonna be a very small one, but the wax came out mostly all the way around. All right, let's check on this green one, see where we're at. Perfect. It says Merry Christmas. Just use that little tool. It probably could have sat just a little longer, but there we go. We've got our little seal. All right, there's one. This one's already ready to go again. Ooh, let's hurry and drop some stuff in here. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another um, snowflake. I want a couple of them. I'm gonna go ahead and stick five in there. See what happens. All right, we got four. We're gonna do another. Another Merry Christmas like that one. That one's gonna be big. All right, I'm actually going to, there's some air bubbles in it too. Oops, I must have overcooked it just a little. Oops, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in a couple of these greens with it. They'll melt differently and that's okay. This one should be done. It is, and it's actually not too bad. Um, it's a little small, but that's okay. It worked, the, the design is all there and that's what really matters. We go. So we got another one. So while we're waiting for that, let's see if these are soft. Interesting. It's like a little science experiment, you know? <laughs> and look, this one is, these are actually almost done. 
I think the one wax heating up faster and melting faster helps melt the other ones. So let's see if we can do another, well, let's, we'll just do another green one like this, like this one. And then we'll start getting into some other colors too. So yeah, I'm off work today, just playing around the house. I'm trying to organize in my craft room. It's driving me crazy, you guys. This room is just driving me nuts. I'm tripping over everything. I just need some better storage ideas and without having to spend a bunch of money and I don't know. I might move into, I, I'm just trying to split some stuff out of this room and put it in the other room that I don't use as often because I, I mean, it doesn't have to be in this particular room. And I use the other room more for sewing and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I can move some of my stuff there, but that needs some cleaning too. It's, I'm working on both rooms. So it's been a little bit crazy and I'm just kind of going nuts trying to finish up my projects so that those things are I can put away. That helps. And I've been a little bit, um, I don't want to say absent. I've been watching so many videos and stuff, but I haven't been participating in as many challenges and stuff. I've just been trying to pull back just a little bit um, so that I can focus and, and get some stuff done that I've already committed to. Um, so please know, I'm still here. I'm still supporting all of you. <laughs> still loving my community. You guys have been amazing to me and I just um, love y'all. There's so many people that, even if you don't know it, you brighten my day because I, I watch your videos a lot. and You know, it means a lot to know that somebody's out there and, and doing stuff, so. Okay, I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I'm sharing my feelings and things. It's weird. Okay, let's see. Let's get two more of those in there, maybe. But that being said, I do appreciate so many of you. You guys are just, you guys are awesome. Your comments, your support. Oh, I wanted to put it out there too. If any of you, I know that you guys see me do swaps a lot with Facebook and such. If anybody's interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one swap, just email me. I put my email in the um, description box of every video. Email me. I'd love to be able to get to know some of you better and, and um, do one-on-one -on -one swaps with you. I'm, I'm totally open to that. I guess the only requirement is that I got to know somehow that you really are a crafter. <laughs> um whether you post on Facebook or Instagram or your or or here on YouTube, I do request that because you know I I can't send to everybody and you know even overseas I'm willing to do something like that. I mean if you're willing to ship something that far, I'm willing to ship something that far. We'll make it work. But but yeah, I'd love to do that. So if you're interested, just reach out and tell me. I love to see what others craft, um, which is what, why I like the swaps and stuff. Because there's so many different ways to do the same things, you know? You, we could make rules and say, okay, well, let's do this kind of a project. And my interpretation of that is going to be totally different than yours and you're gonna do it, or you might come about it differently in a way that I may nev have never thought of. And I think that's awesome um, to be able to have that opportunity to see your handcrafts too, in per up, up close and personal. All right, we're gonna do a different design. Oops, I put too many in there. This is probably, oh well, whatever. I'll just pour off what I need. This one is boiling, you guys, but there's still lumps in the middle, which is crazy. That is crazy. Let's stir it real quick and make sure we've got some of that worked out. There we go. This is kind of one of those activities today. I don't have to think too hard. <laughs> oh, I was gonna do the bells on this one. I hope I put the stamp on there. Nope, of course not. That's not one that I already put on. Let's just do this one. We'll do handmade. I chose those colors because I was going to do bells, but 
That's all right. We'll do it again. This one says handmade. Dig it in there. Curious how this one's gonna turn out. Okay, I need to change. There's the bells. I have three stamps going. When did that happen? That's funny. I didn't even realize I did that. I'm going to put five in there. Well, that means that one of the, at least one of these is probably done. So let's go ahead and pull this one for sure it came straight up maybe not off the glass but it came straight up there's the snowflake and this one should be done remember how I said these come up really easy I lied just put parchment paper down I mean they're coming up but I think it's because it's still a little warm Parchment paper works better. Oops, I poked a hole in it. Eh. I tear up the back a little bit. That's okay. It will work. All right, what was I doing? Um, this one's bells. That's not bells. This is bells. This is bells. That's that one. What is happening with this one? That's pretty. I'm going to try to leave some of that swirl in there. I like that. Okay. Except that, do I have a stamp to put that one on? Merry Christmas will work. Let's do that. Look at that red and white in there. I don't. I think it's going to blend too much, though. I don't think the white's going to show up much. I'm okay if it does. I'm okay if it doesn't. But I am going to try to do one so that the white will show. Kind of like Christmas tree. Not Christmas tree, I mean um, candies, candy canes. Be kind of cute. That needs to go a little bit more. Let's put some more of that red in there. Maybe if I don't stir it quite as much. Do it that way. And here's the bells. So are you guys doing anything with uh, Christmas in July? Anybody? I'm seeing, starting to see quite a few channels doing it. I'm doing 12 days of Christmas instead of Christmas in July because I thought Christmas in July, that's a whole month to me. So um, I thought it would be easier for myself <laughs> if I just do, you know, 12 days instead of, you know, 30 or 31 or however many days are in this month. I don't even know gonna stop to think about it I don't worry about that but um yeah I think it's fun get started and do some fun things so to, I do have that swap in face on the Facebook group that's 12 days of Christmas in July and I've been working on that diligently you guys are gonna start seeing some of those projects popping up on my page and um, I'm having a lot of fun with that I'm having a hard time finding uh, uh, finding ideas for it, though. I've got a few, but getting them done is another thing. And I need to design a few, which I think is holding me back, holding me back a little. I have some ideas, but I just I have to have time to think it through and and do it. Oh, it's still warm. That one is too. This the bells? Nope, that's handmade. That's the bells. Oh, shucks, I just did another. Okay, well, that's all right. That's okay. I need to do start doing some red red. But oh my gosh, I need to do some, I need to do some gingerbread. I haven't done any gingerbread for this project yet. That's what I need to do. I might get out some die cuts today. 
Everybody loves gingerbread, right? And I got a new rubber stamp. I got, um, and it's a um, gingerbread recipe uh, stamp. It's so cute. So I could incorporate that somehow. I think it's gonna be fun. All right, this bell is done. So let's get another bell going. I can just do this while I'm waiting to pull that up. You guys have probably seen how to do this before. Most of you have probably done this before. I know I'm probably not teaching you anything, but I'm glad you're here and hanging out with me, spending some time. I appreciate that. We are so close. I've got to figure out what we're going to do for our 600 subbies um, challenge giveaway. I want to do something. Um, I want it to be very simple. I don't need a bunch of stuff for my craft room. Please. <laughs> I don't need that. But I also have a birthday coming up in August. So I'm thinking I'll combine it somehow. And... I have an idea, but I don't want to announce it just yet. I have an idea. Oh, I'm boiling that one dry. Okay, let's see. We need to put some red in there. Here, just drop one of those real quick. I just want red, red. <gasps> Not that much red. Not that much. Okay, don't do what I just did. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is going to be so full. I can't get them out, though. Okay, <laughs> we're not gonna pour them all. Pour it all out of there. Let's see, this one's lumpy. Awesome, that's just fantastic. It's the white ones, darn it, they didn't melt out. That's okay though, maybe they'll be squishy enough. It's all I need, it's just squishy enough. Ooh, that one's gonna be full. When it starts getting liquid, I'll pour some into this one. I think I'm gonna put some, oh, you know, maybe I'll do, I'm gonna try some red and green. And it might turn into brown, but that's all right too. See how that turns out. Oh, what a mess that's gonna be. So yeah, I've got lots going on. I need to start getting it back into my planner because that would help me immensely to keep track of things. I think that's part of why I've kind of stayed out of things too, at some of the challenges and things, just because I've just had so much going on. I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up, you know? And I don't really care if I win anything, so I feel bad though when, <laughs> I hope I haven't won anything and been passed up because I didn't respond. I feel, I would feel really badly, but I want to support, but I really don't care if I win. I don't care about that. I just want to support my friends and my community. And let's um, I'll pour a little bit of this one into this one. Okay. Clean that off in a minute. Oh, hey, I need a... I need a stamp. I don't need all of that. Actually, you know what? That is so pretty. I'm going to put this heart on it. Boop. It's not going to be Christmas, and I poured way too much in there, but that's all right. It seems to be a theme. I'm actually going to put a couple pink, dark pink ones in there. I'm going to put one of these metallic ones, too. So what do you think? Is this mixing up okay? Not really, huh? It's like it doesn't want to go. Let's see how this one turned out. Ah, oh, it's kind of cool with the white in there. Even with the chunks. That's pretty neat. Let's see how the white kind of turned into... All right. So we'll be doing some more like that for sure. And the bells, I think we're done with that one. 
I'll be finishing up pretty quick here. We don't need to be another hour today. But I wanted to get some wax seals done for this swap. I thought it would be a fun addition um, as part of the swap. It, it's not going to be what I sent alone, but I thought it would be a fun um, thing to send. I'm, I'm sending some cards to her, so I thought that would be kind of fun to be able to seal them up with some wax seals. What do I need some more of? Merry Christmas. This is probably going to be lumpy too. I don't like the lumps. Really lumpy. That one didn't even pour out of there. It just globbed. But let's see if I can get something out of it anyway. It might be soft enough. I can still press into it. Yeah. That one's really cool. This color, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the pinks and the reds, um, I don't want to say mixed because they didn't mix, but they are gorgeous. And I need to quickly stamp that and we'll go handmade with it. So let's just do a few more. Ooh, I'm glad I poured that in my hand this time first. I'm gonna do that again. Actually, I wanna put some gold in there. Riley should be here telling me which colors because he's pretty good at it. Okay, let's see, let's put some green and some gold. I think there's enough red in there, but I'm gonna add one more. That might be more of a fall color theme right there. I didn't do any of the Santas. The North Pole ones. Okay, I might have to do a couple more. This one feels like it's probably done. Ooh, that's neat with the red and the green. Very cool. There we go. It's got the red and the green. It didn't mix up all much, all that much, so um, you can see the colors clearly, which is great. Oh, nope, that's not ready. If it doesn't pull out right away, it's not ready. I need the North Pole. That one wasn't on a stick. I think that's why I didn't do any of them. So I'm wondering if, this is gonna sound really silly, but hear me out. You know those Scentsy burners we have with the wax? I wonder if we could repurpose that wax this way. I think it would be too soft, but I wonder if you could mix it in and just make these go farther. Because I know it's really like waxy, like oily when you, um, get that stuff out it probably wouldn't work it's probably the essential oils or whatever they use in there because I know when I take them out yeah that it well again if you mixed it with these maybe do I need it that badly probably not I like being frugal but sometimes that's not worth the effort I guess I'd also have to burn my um, my burners more often. That one's still really stuck on there. How pretty that heart is, I love it. All right, should I do one more? Getting away from Christmas colors, aren't I? Get 
this one off now. Yeah, I definitely use the parchment paper. Ah, uh, I can see this poking up underneath. Try not to poke a hole in it, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to. It'll pop off it later, probably when it cools off more. Getting there. Do you guys ever hear the saying, um, a watched pot never boils? That's how I feel right now. Like, I, why am I watching it? Why am I worried about it? It's gonna work. <laughs> I feel like leaving the room and when I come back, it'll be ready. <laughs> It's true though, a watch pot never does boil. It seems like it takes forever when you stand in there over it watching it. It's like, gosh, when will my spaghetti ever be done? But if you're not worried about it, it will cook, it will be done. I feel like I'm messing this one up. Probably am. I'm probably just gonna rip this one off and reuse the wax. I think all my videos need to come with a disclaimer. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is it sticking like that? I'm sure there's a reason. I actually had some parchment paper and I dropped it in my trash bin under my desk earlier today. Well, I'm going to see if I can find that. It should be right up here on top. Uh, make these last ones a couple a little easier. Let me see. Right there. Right there on top. I used it for another wax project. We're going to melt this one back down. I wonder if I can get this one up. Is this one going to be that stuff like that too? I hope not, it's really pretty. No, I think I just pushed that one down so it was too thin and it just, um, it had some intricacies to it so I think it just went too thin and just didn't wanna pop. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna do these next ones on this one. You'll see how much easier it is with the wax paper. Look at that, oh my gosh that's doing things. Um, what is it doing? The colors are just like boiling out and we got really thin. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna just stick this one back in here. Oops. We're gonna blow this one out. And I should probably stick something on top of that. Quickly. Merry Christmas. And I'll go ahead and clean this spoon before I put it away this time. So Michelle and Riley, if you guys are watching this, I have got something in a package that's coming. I'm gonna be shipping it out in the next few days and I'm gonna have, ooh, it spilled, didn't it? I'm gonna have a, um, a couple wax melts, or not wax melts. I'm gonna have some, uh, a couple stamps for Riley in there that Riley can keep and play with. He seems to be having so much fun with it. I love that. With adult supervision, of course. Because it's hot and there's fire involved. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Ooh, 
hot. Okay, good enough. Just let all this stuff cool down. That spoon's still hot too. And which one did I do first? This one, huh? It's still pretty warm. But you can see how much easier these pull up when they're done on, you know, something that you're supposed to be doing it on. I mean, it works on the glass really nicely. I think what happens, I think, too, what happens is um, with the glass, it gets colder faster because of the glass. And I think that's why it doesn't spread as much as, as say, that one. See the difference? So that might be part of that. I hope I don't ruin this one too. I've never had to peel them off like this before though. They usually just pop. Maybe I'm just trying too soon. Maybe they're still, you know, got some temperature to them. I don't know. Maybe I'm rushing. Go. Those both seem pretty good. See how easy they just come right off. This one's still a little warm, or it would have come right off. Something about this stamper. I don't know. All right, you guys. So if you're curious what to do with these markers, if you've never seen it done before, or if you have. These markers are super fun. They usually come with the wax kits, or they often come with the wax kits. You don't have to use these markers, though. There's other ones that work. These are just metallic color pens, like silver and gold. Um, but they're super cool. If you just color the tops, the parts that stick up, it helps accentuate the design. Just lightly go over it, and it helps that um, design to pop up. And I have used other metallic pens too, because it, it, it does work. But that's what these are for. And it adds just a little something to it. Let's do it on the snowflake so you can see really good contrast, because that's probably not really good contrast. Use silver on this one. But you can see how that design just pops right out. Hopefully you can. And there we go. We've got some beautiful wax seals. They're fun for yourself or gift giving or your Christmas cards, what have you. And we're all set. So you guys, this is it for this time. I hope you all enjoyed my little uh, session of uh, crafting and waxing and chatting <laughs> and mistake making. Um, have a wonderful day. We're going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.